Welcome back to yet another Sandbase Stop Maze in this video. This is the final video of the John Deere 7720 Titan 2 Combine. In this video, we're going to be doing two things. One is weathering and one is applying railings and decals. Right here I did pull out the steps. I will be honest, I almost forgot about them when I started the video. But there's two things we have to do to these. We first have to cut out these sides and then paint them. So this next step, while I'm waiting for the paint to dry to just finish up those stairs, is weathering. I'm going to use some weather pastels, and I might use some paint too, and obviously some images from Google. And we will try to make a nice looking combo. Um, take my pastel, um, use a hobby knife to grind it in, and put a little water to mix it up. And now you can see um, the right choice and mix is the biggest thing. So I'm going for that tire. Uh, that wheel and that dirt right in there so it will be hard to see on camera but I'm gonna go pick the so what I ended up with from a mix was this darker color and this lighter yellowish color that will mix together I think some lights dirt pretty well so I'm gonna weather in this green bin a bit and just block some of the mixture in of leftover dust and whatever so and I'm sure I'll go over this later again and it's not the best realistic look but I'm gonna spray a doll coat on it so whenever you touch it it doesn't come off but I think it'll look pretty decent after the doll coat was sprayed on, we have this nice look that's um, a weathered um, kind of thing going on here. Um, it's pretty a dusty look, which is good. I didn't really put anything in the back there. Um, but what I want to do next is um, first add some... Well, first, we're going to put on the steps and stuff. I did just glue those steps in. You can see the paint job looks pretty good. I would walk up those steps if I was small enough. The next step of what we were going to do is I have the, um, if I can find them, <laughs> hand railings. And when we put them on here, you can see that they are a little big. And if you actually search up on a image right now, as if I'll, I know it's tough to see, but right in here you have, um, some hand railings that don't really end as well as at the floor and if you compare that to these um those have an ending and a floor so i'm just gonna cut those off i think it will look best three main points of interest we have silver brown and a reddish kind of thing that i will mix with the brown to make like a rusty color um i'll apply as we go so first i'll get that silver also go down around here mainly to add some life as i didn't do much to down there so there's a live hydraulics there's a live and it doesn't take much to do that make some dabs down here I won't ever have this pickup unattended, I guess you could say, just for one reason, and that one reason is that it doesn't look very good. <laughs> That's all there is. So as you probably saw in that last clip, I did um, add the handrails, and there was a little bit of lost footage in there. I um, deleted some things accidentally while editing, so that's how that happened. I'm going to go back just checking up on one detail so what i was saying i um did lose some footage um of some certain certain things in there in that last couple minutes but it should be okay i managed to get most of it back so if it seems a little jumpy at one point um i think that might only happen once um that's what that would be so just to go around and what we did um i was pretty excited i was that this is done i was very upset that i lost the footage but i found it again so it's fine um, 
this is the final video, like I said, of this Titan 2, and that's pretty exciting for me. Um, I did a good bit of work and time on this. Um, it's definitely not for sale. I have had someone comment about me making one, and I'm really not sure what I'm going to do about that. I also have a friend that wants me to make one, so... I'll be thinking about that. To go around, I did get those handrails on, and it involved a lot of cutting, but they ended up looking pretty good in my opinion, and you can see I painted the steps there too, and um, I did cut out those sides, and I'm a big fan of using what Ertl has given us to customize versus scratch building. Um, at some point, I do want to get into more of a scratch building. I just got a solder, so, and then... I'll just go over the whole combine. Don't forget about that um, one video where we did the inside. It, you really can't even see it. But we made these um, clear sides and I did detail up that. We detailed both of these headers and they look much better. We got new tires. I did a whole video on like putting a steering wheel in the cab and painting these back wheels. Um, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> I um, painted that toolbox. That wheel just fell off, so let me put that back one. As we come around the back, I did paint up this rear axle, and we did fill in fill in this seam and took off that weird spreader thing that um, should have been replaced with something. Painted these steps. As we come around again, um, we have some paint down there and I did paint up this and we put this front piece on painted up this top um, got some seams down there filled in put the corn head on to show that off it looked pretty good coming down um, I did then on all the tires I, or wheels I added a little rust mark on the bottom some vehicles have that and a rust spot coming down over the decals and the auger of course opens or however you say that folds out <laughs> but um so if I, I do that and then put the combine back there you could put a, a green cart or something under that not very tall but it would work and then I, the idea that rust stripe was maybe the water does fall in, so maybe it was sitting out for a time, and then some water got in there, and then it drained down, and then after a couple times of doing that, kind of rusted, or maybe there was some oil in there, or whatever. And get a view from here. I really um, do enjoy the way this combine turned out, like I said, and if there was one thing I could do differently, it would have spent that. It would have been spending that 15 or 20 dollars to put in a nice um, raisable header head and it just wasn't my a priority at the time um, if I do another combine for myself I will definitely do that as well as a steerable back end I could probably even do that by myself though so that's it for this uh, video of the Titan 2 thank you if you watched the series if you didn't uh, make sure to go and watch it. I'll leave a, a link um, in a card at the top of your right hand of the screen, I hope. And <laughs> um, that's about it for me. Thanks for stopping by.